This is the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play. Uh, just kind of give you a quick overview of the device. You've uh, got a beautiful four inch screen right here. You've got a front facing video chat camera. If we just slide it across, you can see your two shoulder buttons for gaming, your five megapixel camera and LED flash. And then of course at the bottom, your three and a half mil micro USB and your stereo speakers, which come out from there. So, uh, and then of course the most important bit is your PlayStation certified keypad you'll find right here. So this is a world first PlayStation certified smartphone. So, uh, and of course we're running Gingerbread 2.3 over the top, which uh, looks and feels absolutely fantastic. So I'm just gonna go into the menu and start up a game for you to show you how it all looks. So we're just gonna go Asphalt to get started. Now inside the Xperia Play, we have the latest Snapdragon processor and the Adreno 205 graphics processor, which basically enables us to deliver 60 frames per second, pure gaming quality, and it absolutely looks brilliant. So just give me a quick demo of Asphalt here. Now for, uh, for those of you who are familiar with gaming, I'm a, I'm a massive gamer myself. You'll see you've got the D-pad here, you've got the PlayStation certified keys, as I pointed out, the shoulder buttons already. And of course, these little fellas are uh, dual analog sticks. So if you're familiar with the PS3 with the analog sticks, we've got a touch alternative right here that works absolutely fantastic. But I'll show you those in a different game just after I've gone through with this one. So we've worked with some of the best developers in the world in the gaming industry. So we've got Namco, we've got EA, Electronic Arts as well as Gameloft, obviously, who provide us with this title. And uh, we've got some of the best games you can get in the market, from uh, Assassin's Creed, Asphalt Racing, Star Battalion, uh, Bruce Lee Fighting, and of course, we've got loads more coming in the near future as well. And the Xperia Play is gonna ship with five titles bundled in the box as well. So I'm just gonna show you the game here rolling. So as I mentioned, the 60 frames per second gaming just looks absolutely seamless and wonderful as we're playing through. Got our trigger buttons are here, of course, for a little bit of nitro. And the playability is just great. So obviously smartphones have, uh, smartphone gaming has obviously increased in popularity a huge amount and we're starting to see more complicated titles coming onto the smartphone platform and of course that's where the Xperia Play really settles in because it's absolutely perfect with the PlayStation certified hardware on board. So that's, uh, that's Asphalt, I'm just going to exit now. So if you do get a phone call while gaming, obviously the games will automatically pause like Asphalt is still running in the background. And uh, now I'm going to show you Dungeon Defender. Now Dungeon Defender is uh, one of our titles available on this device. You can also play online. So uh, with Dungeon Defenders, you can play online over Wi-Fi, or you can play ad hoc, which is on our other games, such as FIFA 10, which is another preloaded title. You can play ad hoc with up to two, or two, three, or four players. And of course, you cannot do that on any other smartphone. So that is exclusive to the Xperia Play. So what I'm gonna show you with Dungeon Defenders is the analog dual sticks working right here. So those of you who are familiar with your RPGs and first-person shooters, you will, uh, you'll recognize this kind of input. So I'll just uh, play a local game, choose this character here, and uh, let's start. So uh, the left analog stick is obviously for movement, as you can see here. It's moving this little fellow around. So we go across, and then our right one is for camera. So we've got full 3D control, obviously, of our character and the camera itself, which is perfect for RPGs and first-person shooters, as I said. So there's an absolute perfect platform for gaming on the smartphone here, as well as the PlayStation certified pad. We've got the multi-touch screen, and of course, we've got the shoulder buttons, the front-facing camera and microphone, three-axis motion sensors and gyroscopes. So all in all, there's plenty of opportunity for developers to get on board and we've already got the best in the industry on board with this, as I mentioned before. So by all means, please check out the Xperia Play. It's gonna be a fantastic device. So this here is Star Battalion. This is uh, another title from uh, Gameloft, which is gonna be pre-bundled um, in the UK on the Xperia Play. So this is a kind of 3D space shooter. Just gonna get loaded up so you can see what it looks like. 
Again, as you can see here, this one is a multiplayer too, so you can play local or online, so you and up to four people can play over an ad hoc connection and the experience is really, really good. So as you can see here, this game again takes control of uh, the analog touch inputs. Which uh, obviously I'm not too, uh, too hot in this game myself. So I'll just use the D-pad. So there are some other, uh, other titles coming which are a, a star shooter type thing. But I just wanted to give you an overview. So we've got a racing game, we've got a space shooter. And, uh, and of course, I showed you the Dungeon Defender, which is a great RPG fantasy tile.